Hey guys, Tech Control with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to take a screenshot on your iPhone 15 in a few different ways and also how to edit and save them as well. So let's get started. So on the new iPhone 15 here, the simple and the most easiest way of taking a screenshot on your iPhone is, first of all, be on the page that you want to take a screenshot. Once you're on there, you're going to press the volume up and the side button at the same time. You're going to press it at the same time and release it. So to take a screenshot, Again, side button and the volume up button at the same time. You have to make sure it's at the same time and it'll take a screenshot. And once you take a screenshot, a preview comes up. You can click on the preview. And after you have the preview, you can uh, pretty much do anything you like to do with the screenshot. You can edit this. You can uh, see, mark it up as you like. If you don't like it, you can put it in the trash. Or if you are satisfied with it, you can hit done. And once you hit done here, It'll ask you where you like to save it on the Photos app, Files, or Quick Notes. And if you don't like it and want to take a screenshot or delete it, you can just click on Delete. So I'm going to just save it to Photos. And once I save it to Photos, I should be able to open the Photos app and look in my recent here and see that I just have a screenshot right here that I have taken. Now, the second method to take a screenshot is, let's say you can't press these two buttons or they're not working. And actually, if you're using Siri, you can get Siri to take a screenshot for you by simply activating Siri by saying, hey Siri, if you have hey Siri enabled, or by pressing the side button here. So press the side button. Hey Siri, take a screenshot. And as you can see, Siri has taken a screenshot. I can open that up and the same exact thing. You can change it, edit it, or mark it up, whatever you need to. And you can also, without even saving it you can click on that arrow up here this time to share it either through airdrop or any of these options available here you can print it as you can see a bunch of more options are available for you and once you're done here you can come here again if you don't want this you can delete it or copy and delete it whatever the case is be so i'll just save it to photos again but that's how you do it the second method now the third method which is an interesting one if you like to use it it's known as back tap so if you on the search bar type up back uh, tap so you'll see here under touch you'll go to touch here so if you didn't know where to go again you can also navigate from the main menu here by going into settings uh, accessibility under touch and then if you go all the way down here there's a feature called back tap on your iPhone and essentially when you tap the back of your iPhone either a double or triple it can pretty much perform an action for you so I'm going to click on that and the action for this one here by default it's none but let's say I want to take a screenshot with it select that go back ensure that double tap says screenshot and this time let's say I am on a web page maybe right so I'm going to be on a web page here like Apple's website I'm going to use the double back tap here right to take a screenshot this time so I'll tap on the back glass twice here on the iPhone 15 so make sure you're not pressing anything else so the and it take a screenshot just like that now and then once I click on it if I want a full page this is if you're on a browser you can do a full page just like that and as you can see here it's gonna take a screenshot of the full page long screenshot as well this option for full page comes up and once you're done same exact thing after that you can hit done save it to photos or you can save it as a PDF to files as well and then after that you can select the location if you're doing it on files by hitting the save and now we have saved a screenshot of a web page using the back tap feature as well now you for a web page you can also use the side button and Siri as well to take a screenshot but that's how it works sometimes the back tap if you have a case on you might uh, the case might interfere with the back tap it might not work as well so you have to make sure that case isn't too bulky for you but that's how you take a screenshot in a couple different ways on your iPhone 15 I hope this video was helpful if so, please make sure to like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks on your iPhone in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.